was good for them. The future, I, I just, I do worry about because I think there aren't that many people coming forward to learn milling and mill writing, so it is a worry. People just got to be sort of educated as to what it is, because it's so far removed now from most people's lives that um, they don't know, they've never been in one. We've got to change that. Got anybody lined up at all who could potentially take over one day? No. <laughs> Trouble is, they want to earn a living. <laughs> I suppose I should fall to bits eventually, but I intend to go on as long as I can because I like doing it. <laughs> I curse and grumble some days, but uh, you know, on balance, I wouldn't do anything else. That is contentment right there. Nigel, a man who is living the dream. Time for the weather now, and Sarah, a welcome change is actually on the way, isn't yes, it? Yes, we keep waiting for this to happen, don't we? And we nearly were putting it back by a day uh, last night, but things have changed again for the positive uh, for Monday, that is, hopefully seeing the sunshine starting to come. And I thought we could have a water theme today on the Weather Watcher pictures. We've been talking about the grey skies for the last sort of three or four days. This one taken by Panda Pudding, I thought that was a rather good name, and also at Attenborough Nature Reserve, this lovely swan just having a grooming session there. So thank you to Miss B for sending that one in today. Now our area of high pressure is starting to move. It is going to gradually start to pull away towards the east and as it does certainly by Saturday we will start to see a change in the wind direction. Haven't lost the cloud totally though on Saturday and it looks very similar to what it does outside at the moment so we will just get the odd sort of clear spell with us overnight but across the eastern side as that cloud filters back in again there is the chance of the odd little bit of drizzle still as well and nighttime temperatures dropping down to a minimum of 11 Celsius. Best of the breaks, probably through parts of Nottinghamshire and into Derbyshire for a time tonight. Tomorrow though, starting off again with a good deal of cloud around, it will by the afternoon start to thin a little bit more. So hoping to see maybe a few more sunny spells around into the afternoon. Not wall to wall sunshine by any means, but daytime temperatures will be increasing, 20 Celsius the maximum. And again for Sunday, Sunday itself starting off with quite a bit of cloud cover. We've also got this weather front which is sitting across the northwest across Ireland and up towards the northwest that plays a part in the weather on Monday but for Sunday into the afternoon a bit more sunshine again and temperatures increasing further and then by the time we get to Monday well sort of Sunday night into Monday that weather front does actually sink southwards but it's weakening over us which is good news so Monday temperatures increasing to 25 Celsius and then it turns even hotter as we progress throughout Tuesday and Wednesday we won't look at the end of the week though <laughs> <laughs> Best not to. That's all from us for now. Sarah's back with Nicola for the late news. Whatever you're doing, have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.